Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the top SQL problem in data science interviews. So if you are actively looking for a data scientist job, then make sure you understand and be able to solve this type of problem before your interview. If you don't know who I am, my name is Emma Dean. I am a data scientist turned career coach. My mission is to help you guys land your dream data scientist job. Before we dive into this type of question, I want to give you guys a quick intro on the analysis I have done to find this type of problem. So I have gathered and collected, analyzed over 150 SQL interview questions from over 30 companies. What I found was that the top end problem is the most common type of problem other than some basic SQL functions. When I say basic SQL functions, I mean union, join, group by, this type of SQL fundamentals. The top one problem accounts for 19% of SQL interview questions. It means that on average, you are going to get one top one problem out of five SQL interview questions. And the top one problem is the focus of today's video. So by the end of this video, you will have a very good understanding on this type of problem and you know how to solve it. Now, one more thing before we dive into the problem. If you like the Notion pages I have created to present to you guys on my YouTube videos, you can go to emmadeen.com slash resources to download all the beautiful Notion pages I have created for you guys. They are absolutely free. The point of this channel is to provide the best resources you can find on the internet to help you ace data science interviews. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, in this video, let's look at the top end problem in SQL. We first talk about what is the top end problem, and then we talk about a simple version of the top end problem, which is to get the top end records from a table. And then we look at a more complicated version, which is to select top end records per category. Finally, we look at the version that there are ties in the rankings. Let's go over what is top end problem first. The top end problem is to select the top end records from a table. Here are some simple questions. What are the top five highest rated movies? What are the top three highest paid employees per department? What are the top three highest paid employees per department when there are ties? Let's start with the simple version of the top end problem, top end records. For example, we want to select the fifth largest value in the table T. Assume the values are all unique and there are more than five values in the table. In this example, we don't need to return all the top five values, but we can consider this problem as top end problem. And the only difference with returning all top five values is that we exclude the top four from the results. There are different ways to get the result. One way is to simply use limit and offset. In MySQL, we can just use limit one offset four to get the fifth largest value from the table. Here we need to order by the value and use the descending order so that the value returned is the fifth largest value. So we order by value descend limit 1 offset 4 to get the fifth largest value. If we use MS SQL Server, the syntax is a little different. There's no limit in MS SQL Server. Instead, we can use order by value descending order offset 4 rows fetch next 1 rows only. So instead of using the limit keyword, we use the fetch keyword. And in this case, we only need to fetch next one rows only. Another way to write the query is to use window functions. In this example, we can use the function row number to get the rankings of the value in descending order, and we can name it as row. And we simply select row equals five to get the fifth largest value. Know that when using window functions, we cannot apply filters on the result generated by the window function directly we need to create a subquery to filter results. What this means is that if we have a weird clause here, it won't work. Instead, we should use a subquery to get the row number first, and then we use a filter in the main query. Now let's see why we use row number instead of other ranking functions such as dense rank or rank in this example. Here's a table showing the results using different ranking functions for a column called value. We have this column sorted in descending order. If we use row number, we get four numbers from one to four sequentially. So even if two rows have the same value, they are assigned different row numbers. By comparison, the dense rank function also returns sequential numbers. But if there are two rows have the same value, in this case 4.9, 
they get the same dense rank, which is 2 in this case. The rank function is similar to the dense rank function. If there are two rows having the same value, they are assigned the same ranking. However, the rank function does not return sequential numbers. There might be gaps in the results. The rank of a row is determined by 1 plus the number of ranks that come before it. So in this case, the row with value 4.8 has rank 4 because there are three elements before it. Next, let's look at the top n per category. When we want to get the top n records per category, we cannot use a limit or offset, and the window function is a better choice. For example, we want to find the five highest rated restaurants in each city. And here, highest rated refers to highest average ratings. If two restaurants have the same average rating, we return either restaurant is fine. Here's a table rating. It has the ID of a rating, the name of the restaurant which receives the rating, the city of the restaurant, and the rating of the restaurant. So each row is an individual rating of a specific restaurant. To get the five highest rated restaurants in each city, we can calculate the average ratings for all restaurants first, and then we sort the ratings, find the top five. So idea is simple. Let's see how to write the query. The first step is to compute average ratings for all the restaurants. We can simply use the average function to get the average ratings and group by the name of the restaurant and the city of the restaurant. Inside of the parentheses, know that we use rating multiplied by 1.0 to avoid integer division. We want to get decimal numbers instead of integers. We can then put this query in a CTE and name it average ratings. This table can be used in other queries. The next step is to order the average ratings and get the ratings of the average ratings. So we can select the name, the city, the average rating from this table, and we use row number over partition by city order by average rating in descending order as row to get the ratings of the average ratings. The reason we choose the row number function is that we only need to output five restaurants per city. If two restaurants have the same average ratings, return either one is fine. Because the last query is simple enough, we probably don't need to create two intermediate tables. We can combine the rating rank table and the last query. But writing the query in this way is also helpful because it's very easy to see the logic and read the code. Finally, let's look at top n per category with ties. This is a situation that there are ties in the ranks, and we want to get all the restaurants with the top five ratings per city. So how do we modify the query? Getting all the restaurants with the top five ratings means that if any restaurants have the same average ratings, we need to return all restaurants with the same ratings. So the number of restaurants per city returned will be larger than or equal to 5. To get the desired outcome, we can simply change the ranking function from row number to dense rank. Dense rank returns sequential rankings, and if two values are the same, they are assigned the same ranking. So we can simply change the row number function to the dense rank function to get the top 5 restaurants per city. Finally, I want to share with you a tip in interviews. In interviews is really helpful to clarify the logic of the query. Do we want to output top n records, meaning that we only output exact n records per category, or we want to output all records that match the top n scores? If that's the case, we need to output larger than or equal to n records per category, because multiple records may have the same value. Now you have a good understanding on the top n problem. In the next video, we are going to look at another common type of SQL problem in interviews, and that is ratios. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet, so you can stay up to date to all my latest content. As always guys, I appreciate you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any comment or feedback by dropping a comment below. I will see you soon.